I think golf cart accidents are more, much more common than most people would assume that they would be. Um, most golf cart accidents do, do not happen on golf courses, at least the cases that we see. Uh, most of them tend to happen in the streets. And as more and more people are using golf carts recreationally, driving to and from the grocery store, you're gonna see many more accidents happen. I think that the primary cause of most golf cart accidents is basic inattention to your surroundings. You're, you're thinking that you're operating this golf cart and you're not paying attention in the same way that you would be if you're operating a, a car. But you are operating a vehicle that's capable of going 25 miles an hour and you can, you can do a lot of damage to the people around you or to yourself if you're not paying attention. The types of injuries that we see with golf cart accidents run the full gamut of, of, of injuries. We've had cases where people have had broken arms. We've had even a case where a young woman had a brain injury as a result of falling out of a golf cart. And they really are, in the same way that injuries arising out of car wrecks are run this vast array of possible ways that you could hurt yourself in a car, golf carts are in many ways even more dangerous. I think that most, most commonly, the person operating the golf cart often is, is usually the one who is, who is at fault in causing the accident. That's not to say that other vehicles cannot also be at fault. I think a lot of people are not really looking for golf carts when they're driving a car. And so you do get that level of inattention and negligence on the part of people operating cars. But most of the time, I would say that it's the person operating the golf cart. A person injured in a golf cart accident is entitled to the same damages as anyone injured in a car accident or a motorcycle accident or any similar accident. Uh, the law states that that person's entitled to compensation for everything running from medical bills, lost wages, to pain and suffering. And it really does, is unique to each case, the level of damages that are associated with that accident, but they are entitled to all compensatory damages. Our firm has significant experience in handling many different types of, of golf cart accidents. We've handled golf cart accidents that have happened in, in people's front yards. We've currently handling one that actually did happen on a golf course. And I think that that makes us unique in being able to address some of the specific questions that, that are kind of unique to golf cart accidents. One more thing that I would add about golf cart accidents is that in many ways, they do tend to be more dangerous in car wrecks because the people operating the, the golf carts usually aren't wearing seat belts. And over the past year, I've noticed that many of the operators of the golf carts, at least the ones operating the golf carts in the streets, tend to be young teenagers, often under the age of 16. And I do think that people should be aware that golf carts are and, and can be every bit as dangerous and like I said in some ways more dangerous than driving a car and people should be very cautious when operating a golf cart. I would say that people hire our firm for many different reasons. Some people have relationships already in the past with our firm. Some people have relationships with uh, former clients of our firm. We also get referrals from other lawyers and we tend to get most of our referrals from other clients and I think that it kind of builds more of a relationship with the clients than some other firms would have. I would hope that current past clients would describe our firm as, as being a small firm that is able to accomplish great things for them. A firm that is able to pay attention to their needs where if they do contact us and they want to speak to one of the attorneys, they will actually get to speak to an attorney and not to uh, a paralegal or a legal assistant. They actually get one-on-one -on -one contact with us. We currently have five attorneys. We have a small support staff that helps with us uh, in prosecuting cases. Client communication is one of the most important uh, things in developing a relationship with your client. If they feel like that you're not contacting them or discussing their, their case with them, then they often feel lost and they're already feeling lost and that's why they've hired you in the first place. So that is one of the top priorities we have as a law firm. One of the biggest things I think that separates us from other firms in the Augusta Aiken area, especially, is that we practice law in both South Carolina and Georgia. And we've practiced law in South Carolina and Georgia uh, for a long time. I've actually been licensed in South Carolina longer than I've been licensed in Georgia. Your case will not be handed off to another attorney in, in the firm. Um, when you hire our law firm, you are hiring all of the lawyers. We all tend to work together on cases. All of the support staff tend to work together on cases, but at the end of the day, the lawyer that you hired will be the lawyer that you deal with 
and that lawyer will stay there throughout the entire case. Someone coming into our law firm for an initial consultation following a golf cart accident could expect to sit down in a room with, with one of the attorneys here, or maybe multiple attorneys, and we would go over the facts of the case. We would want to see any documents that you have, uh, medical records, medical bills, things like that. We would get background information from you and go over where we expect the case to go. And from there, you would be able to hand off the responsibility of prosecuting your case to us.